give you a brief introduction of myself. Uh, I'm a computer engineer from MIT Pune and a certified systems auditor. Uh, I founded this company in 2010, early 2010, when I moved back to Mumbai from Ahmedabad. I was working in Karani. In on 12 June 2010, uh, we were formally uh, concepted. So in two days, it's our fifth anniversary of uh, you know founding the company. So apart from uh, we work in four domains, uh, briefly in audio, video, video, we do video conference rooms, courtrooms, etc. Aviation is where we are, we have a real time eye tracking device. Surveillance is my category, so I'll just take it uh, on and keep it later. And telecom, where we do a simple intercom to probably give you a square office. So milestone achievements, you were selected as a top 10, uh, top 20 tech startups by CNBC TV 18 in the year you were founded. Uh, we were selected as the top 20 most promising aviation companies by the CIO review in 2014. Uh, we are the only provider of aircraft tracking and flight data monitoring equipment in India today. Uh, we have secured, secured India's largest parking lot and we have done city surveillance in association with Mumbai police. Uh, so my first LCD, the surveillance cameras are pretty standard. So you have uh, some indoor cameras which will place in areas like this. Outdoor cameras like this one which are placed outside which are waterproof, rainproof and uh, the fan tilt zoom cameras which you use for monitoring you can remotely move them so all these cameras you can help you uh, remotely view them on your cell phones laptops and uh, if you have multiple outlets you can have a central monitoring system where you can see all your outlets in a single snapshot uh, so all this is pretty standard you will have a lot of providers doing it so how are we different uh, now uh, so surveillance cameras are going to be generating a lot of video so how do you you know, make sense of this video. So we have something called as a video analytics, which can give you real-time <coughs> input about what is happening in your facility. So things like uh, unattended object, missing object detection, people counting. Uh, so we monitor this video for you also. We provide manpower who sit in the control rooms 24-7, uh, give you alerts if they notice something which is unusual. So why can you refer us with confidence in this uh, domain? Uh, we have final implementations, uh, already done, we have installed 3,500 cameras and counting. Uh, we have an experience of working with all sectors, government, reality, education, retail, hospitality. Uh, we have an implementation of 400 cameras in the same campus as the biggest we have done. And we have secured 200 plus housing societies in Bombay. So that's our bread and butter here. Next, uh, video door phones. Uh, a very simple application, help you scan visitors outside your house or right at the lobby level. Uh, video door phones are becoming intelligent today. You can store images, you can have multiple video inputs, you can have your surveillance camera inputs coming on your video door phone screens. And they've also become wireless, so installation is pretty simple today. Uh, why can you refer us with confidence here? Uh, we've installed 1500 video door phones in Bombay itself. Uh, we've installed, we're installing in the process, 400 already done, so we're going to install 1000 video door phones in one project. This is for Opticrest, Kandavil East, Loganwala Builders. And due to, uh, you know, executing projects of this size, we become the top vendors today for realtors who are making bigger projects. Intrusion alarm systems, my next LCD. I've always been telling the group, uh, surveillance cameras will only act as a postmortem if there's a crime. So intrusion alarm systems actually help prevent the crime. So these are simple sensors like glass break sensors, motion sensors, door contacts installed in your house. So if there's a burglary, if there's a, you know, kind of some intrusion, they'll give you real-time alerts on your cell phone. It'll call a list of numbers. It can be the nearest police station or your security manager. Uh, some, you know, innovative sensors like six-week sensors. Uh, which uh, you know kind of detect vibration. Uh, there are also vibration sensors and seismic sensors used in jewelry shops, used in ATMs. So there have been instances, instances where people have picked up the ATM machine and ran away. So these sensors give you alarms. <laughs> so why can you refer us with confidence here? We have implemented intrusion alarm systems for a lot of high threat individuals and HNIs. We are implementing a completely wireless intrusion system for 160 high-end villas for Kalpatul India project, a Moda reserve. Uh, so wireless is a cache here, a lot of people think that it's very difficult to install uh, intrusion sensor once the house is done. Uh, today it's a pretty robust wireless technology and you can easily install them in a day and be secure. Next, tertiary access. So this is access into the first barrier which is inside the building. This can be for pedestrians and vehicles both. So we've all been to a lot of fancy buildings in BKC where if you go in, a visitor of pass is made and then there's a flat barrier, there's a watchman standing there, you show in the pass and leave gives you access. So what we've done here is uh, we uh, have automated the system so we don't need any guards standing at any access points. So if you enter a building, we'll give you a pass which is barcoded. Once the pass is made, you just go to the flat barrier, scan the barcode and you go inside. Similarly for vehicles, uh, 
So these vehicles, a lot of housing societies and commercial complexes have stickers. The watchman sees a sticker and opens the car. Again, manuals. So what we've done is we give you RFID tags. These tags are on your car as soon as you enter. The boom barrel will automatically open and you go in. So you can save cost on manpower here. And this application, uh, we do it for a lot of uh, government car parks. So uh, the PMC gives you a lot of FSI. The realtors get a lot of FSI if they make a car park and hand it over to the PMC. So we call ourselves the GCP experts, the government car park experts, because out of the 27 already allotted in Mumbai, uh, we've uh, and only seven or eight under construction, we've already done four of them. So we've done Times Square, which is India's largest parking lot. We've done Loda Supreme 3, Loda Supreme 4, and we're doing Loda Fiorenza as of now. Uh, we are, uh, we've done uh, the visitor management and the pedestrian access for the home car and the East, the Summit Business Way project. Access control and time attendance systems, pretty simple systems of fingerprint uh, where you can have your employees, the smallest application where you have employees coming and punching in, in and out. So you know who came in at what time, how many people present today. Well, this is becoming advanced now. So earlier it was cast, moved to fingerprint. Now you can have things like face detection or palm bean detection, uh, which is more, you don't have to touch anything, it will automatically detect. And this can be now expanded to multiple uh, uh, you know, gates. So if it's a corporate which has 30, 35 entry points, every entry point needs to be defined on who can access the different access levels, we can do that all. So our clients here, uh, so we work with all major reality players in Bombay are still connect, like looking to connect to a few. I'll just say in my ask slide. So specific asks, I'm looking to connect to Nahar Amrit Chakti, trying to reach them in a long time, not to cut through uptown, low three reality in Aristo. Uh, Jewelers is one place uh, we've uh, not worked a lot with. So Pogli, TVZ, Kalyan, Malabar. And uh, rest, so schools, colleges, institutions, educational campuses, you have secured a lot of them and you can refer us. And housing societies, uh, put that in bold because uh, we do that day in and day out. And we've got 200 plus societies. That's about it. Any questions? We have one minute for questions. Is any a real people? Who is the right person you want to connect with? Uh, the head purchase. Okay. What's the biggest challenge? What's the biggest challenge in the business? Manpower. Especially realize in the summer time when I have a team of 25, only four people reporting to work. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, again, uh, cameras don't need preventive maintenance in terms of eye going and checking the camera every quarter. So it's more of need based service. So you know your cameras are not working, you can't see them. Or there's something the clients call us and we go and service it. So we do. Yeah, so shock and vibration sensors, so now in jewelry shops you have uh, instances where the person takes the next shop on rent, drills through. So there's a shock or a vibration, automatically gives you a sensor. Do you take AMC? Uh, yes, uh, we do. We take a question. Right, thank you so much. Thank you very much.